Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali A and today I've got some big Call of Duty news for you guys. I apologise, this is not my standard setup. Normally I'd have my intro at the beginning, my overlay, all of that good stuff, but I'm out and about, I'm actually in London at the moment and I did not expect this news to hit, but I wanted to bring it to you guys, so I apologise this isn't a normal setup, but hopefully you enjoy it nonetheless. So today, Activision announced a big, big change, something I've actually talked about within a few videos in the past. Once last year I talked about it for the very first time, and then recently within a video I talked a little bit about Call of Duty Ghost 2 being a possibility. Uh, but today, Activision officially announced that Sledgehammer Games will be making the next Call of Duty game for uh, 2014, which means it's going to be a complete new cycle, which means the development team will then have three years to make a new Call of Duty game. So what does that mean for you guys? It means that this year we're going to be seeing a Call of Duty title from Sledgehammer Games. Next year we're going to be seeing it from Treyarch and then the year after that from Infinity Ward. So rather than the standard two-year switch between um, both Infinity Ward and Treyarch, they are then adding uh, Sledgehammer Games into the mix. Now, who are Sledgehammer Games? What have they done in the past related to Call of Duty? Well, they actually helped with Modern Warfare 3. They helped alongside um, Infinity Ward. So they have done a little bit of work with Call of Duty in the past. However, they have never made their own Call of Duty game. It's going to be a big jump. We don't know what to expect. At the moment, we don't even know the name of the game. We don't have anything specific, but it's going to be very, very interesting. So, what are the bad points of this? Well, one thing, as I just said, is the fact that they've never made their own Call of Duty game. We have no idea what's going to come of this. It could be anything at all. Um, another bad thing is the fact that if you love zombies, we're going to have to be waiting another year, 2015, so the following year, for Treyarch to release more zombies, which kind of sucks. Um, and if you like Infinity Ward games, you've got to wait an even longer wait as well for that. Um, but in terms of good things, it means that all, of, all three of these development teams will have longer time to develop their game. It means that Treyarch and Infinity Ward will have longer periods to work on the graphics, work on the engine. Um, the game, Call of Duty itself, has been built off the same engine um, for pretty much since the beginning. And uh, it hasn't changed very much. And that's been down to the fact that these development teams only get literally two years to turn around a game, release DLC, then start working on the next game. So it's a very, very tight schedule. And this will give them a little bit more breathing room and hopefully deliver us a better Call of Duty game. Now, on top of that, something that's worth mentioning is the fact that there's always been a third pillar and a third sort of tier to Call of Duty. Um, Treyarch, of course, have had single player, multiplayer, and then zombies. Um, Infinity Ward have recently introduced uh, Extinction Mode as well, which has been their sort of new pillar. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Sledgehammer Games came along with their own unique thing as well. What that will be, I do not know. Maybe it will be similar to Zombies. Maybe it will be something completely different. Um, I do know that Sledgehammer Games were working on a third-person Call of Duty game, but that got scrapped and never actually happened. So maybe they'll bring in some sort of design ideas from what they were developing back in the day, which never actually came to fruition, and actually include that within their new title. We did see um, third-person Call of Duty from uh, one of the Modern Warfare games, but it wasn't played too much. But just an idea, something we could be seeing. But there we go, guys. Big, big news. We're going to be getting a game from Sledgehammer Games this year, 2014, and then a bit more of a wait in between all of the development teams making their new Call of Duty. Let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comment section. Again, apologies this isn't my normal setup. I wanted to make sure you guys were fully informed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Share it to your friends if you think they'll be interested in this news. And I'll see you guys on my next video.